The country's influential banking lobby has been getting cold feet over the move and the fears were heightened over the recent rescue of some of Italy's banks and the integrity of the rules. Head of Finance, Denmark Ulrich Nodgaard said Italy's bailouts leave a certain sense of ambivalence what exactly are the rules here. Mr Nodgaard acted as Director General of the Danish Financial Supervisory Authority during the financial crisis. The Danish government set up a committee in July last year to investigate the question of whether or not it should join the banking union and the committee is expected to report back in the later half of 2019. Getty Denmark has got cold feet over joining the EU's banking union however criticism of the move is steadily growing. Mr. Lodgaard said Europe did not seem to be making any progress to prevent government bailouts, similar to Italy's financial support for banker Monte de Paschi. In the future, Denmark has taken a strong line in the past over bank bailouts and was the first European country to Mr. Nodgaard said the expectation was European state aid rules which allowed Italy's bailouts would be tightened and aligned with the Bank Recovery and Resolution Directive. BRRD, designed to prevent such state interference. Get a European Council President Donald Tusk so far that it does not seem to be the case. He said, we hear that BRRD is weakening, in particular, one element is considered to be too ambitious, namely the requirement that shareholders and creditors bear losses equal to 8% of the total liabilities before a resolution fund is allowed to intervene. However, the Danish banks believe that this regulation is indispensable. Get a European Central Bank in Germany according to Mr. Nodgaard. Danish banks have two key demands that need to be met before they can join the banking union maintaining the country's mortgage lending system and real evidence that European banks are sorting out the balance sheets. The rules would have to be made clearer, Nodgaard said, and there had to be solutions to non-performing loans. For example, while Denmark's concerns continued to grow, EU Leaders moved to increase greater banking integration before Christmas. Donald Tusk, president of the European Council, told the EU27 summit, in the next six months, the work of our finance ministers should concentrate on areas where the convergence of views is the biggest, progressing step by step on the completion of the banking union and the transformation of the ESM into the so-called European Monetary Fund should significantly strengthen the resilience of the economic and Monetary Union, additional reporting by Monica Pallenberg.